Today was another one of those days when the staff uh, listened together to a message by Dutch Sheets and Tim, his brother, may have even been involved in this. I'm not sure. We'll call them the Sheets Boys. <laughs> They're good. And in the word that was being shared, uh, Dutch, I believe it was, was talking about a pioneering spirit. And he talked about uh, being, he said, pioneers live on the trail. That caught, caught my attention and I jotted it down and I thought, you know, I believe, I know, it's true for a Glow International. This is a pioneering ministry. We began in the late 60s when I don't know of another international uh, ministry for women, such as a Glow ultimately became, now in, I think it's around 170 nations. We started with this nation and then Canada and Pretty soon we had 20 nations and voila, God's anointing hit, hit this ministry because he was birthing something in the earth. And when you don't know what you're doing, you're a pioneer. And we were pioneers living on a trail that we had never walked before. And in many ways, that is still true of a glow today. And I believe it's one of the things that keeps us alive in the spirit. When you're dependent upon the Holy Spirit, when you don't know what you're going to say next or what you're going to do, I don't mean to sound like we're just random, silly people here at headquarters or any of you in the field, not at all. We are serious men and women of God who have a heart for God, who follow after God, who desire him with all of our hearts. How can you miss? Because even that desire is not of ourselves. It's been deposited in us. And it's that desire that he keeps pulling on and pulling on and drawing us further and further into the way that he has purposed for us for this ministry, for women, but yes, for men and women. That original vision of the church. When we read back in Genesis, how he created ma male and then brought female out of him. And that was the beginning point of God's creation on earth, where he would tabernacle himself. He would live in these two and he would demonstrate himself in the earth. Now we know there were some hiccups along the way, but we also know that Jesus came to redeem every bit that was lost. And really God's plan continues to go forward today. So when I think about you all in the field, some of you maybe just attend a meeting once a month. Some of you are in leadership. Some of you have maybe only come a couple of times, but there is something that draws you to come back. That's the Spirit of the Lord. And the Spirit of the Lord is being stirred up in this hour to cause the church, and when I say church, I don't just mean the building on the corner. I mean we the people. He's causing his people to arise and to fulfill his purpose and his pleasure in the earth, to reveal himself. You know, when you think about, well, applying that to yourself, I don't know, perhaps you're saying to yourself, I don't know if I do such a good job with that. I would say, take your eyes off of yourself. Commit yourself to God, submit to him, Trust in him with all of your heart and trust him to guide you along the way. Trust the little nudges that come like, don't say that. Or maybe you already said it and you think, oh goodness, why did I say it that way? He's teaching, he's training, he's raising up 
his people in the earth in this hour to showcase on earth what heaven purposed in the beginning and from the beginning.